In this video, you will learn how to make a Roblox game where objects just crazily appear and disappear. Hey there guys, welcome back. Go ahead and open up Roblox Studio and click on Templates. We're gonna go to the classic obby. Here you can just go to File and Publish to Roblox, you would have this obby game. But in today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to make objects crazily appearing and disappearing in our game. Let's get started by going to our service script service. We're going to add a module script and inside the module script, just insert the following lines. Here I have two different functions. The first function here is to make something disappear. To make an object disappear, all you have to do is change the can collide property of the object to false and change the object transparency to one. On the other hand, to make a part appear, you change the can collide to true and the transparency to zero. This is how you make it disappear. This is how you make an object appear. With these two functions, now we can make crazy things appearing and disappearing in our game. Let's take, for example, we're going to go to the service script service. We're going to add a script. And inside your script, just insert the following lines. On the first line here, we're just referring to the module script that we have just created. So if you want to use anything inside the module script, you're going to need this first line here to reference to that module script. On the second line here, we're declaring the platform that we want to make disappear and reappear. So let's go back to this here. And how about we pick this block here, this platform here. I'm going to rename this part to part one. Our part one is inside the workspace, RB structure, then part one. We're going to go back to here. So it's going to be workspace dark obby structure dot part one with the infinite loop it's going to keep on executing the code in here over and over again let us now play test and take a look so you can see the platform is not there it has disappeared now it appeared now it disappears i'm gonna wait and then i'm gonna go so that is one way to make an object disappear in your roblox game let's go back to studio and we're gonna find other ways to make more objects disappear for our next example, we're going to pick this block right here. So we want to make this block disappear. We're just going to add a script to this block. So local, let's call it part equal to script dot parent. We're going to go back to the previous script and we're going to copy everything from here. Paste them here. The only thing we're going to change is this platform here. So instead of part, why don't we just copy the script of parent here, cut this, paste it into here. And I can remove this part over here. Our platform now is script.parent. This is the platform. This is the script. And again, we have an infinite while loop. So it's going to keep on repeating, making the platform disappear, wait, make it reappear and wait. Let's play test and take a look. I'm going to wait and go. I got past that. And this one, I'm going to wait and go. OK, let's go back and see what else we can do to make things appear and disappear. How about the next one we're going to do? We're going to pick um, the metal over here. So I'm going to go to that part. I'm going to add a script. And in your script, just insert the following lines. I'm going to remove the top line here. So our first line, we are declaring the module script. It is the same module script we used earlier. On the second line here, the platform is script.parent. Our script is here. So this is our platform is here. This platform here has a touch event. Whenever a player touches this part, this platform is going to execute the code in here inside this touch event. First thing we're doing here we're checking to see if it is a player that is touching our platform here. If it is a player touching the platform, we're going to change the color of the platform to yellow. Wait for three seconds and the platform is going to disappear. So as soon as a player touches the platform, it's going to change color. So the player knows to get off the platform before it disappears. And then it's going to wait for three seconds. It's going to reappear. You know, one more thing we may want to do here is we may want to add a debounce in here. So as soon as the player touches this platform, we're going to debounce. So we're going to say platform dot can touch equal to false. 
So this way, we're only recording one single touch each time the player hops onto the platform. And here we're going to make the platform disappear for three seconds. And we're going to say platform dot can touch equal to true. And here is one other thing we need to do is to change the color back to the original color. So that means when we come in here, we have to save the brick color of that platform. So we're going to say local save color equal to platform dot brick color. I'm going to remove this. Okay, so here we're saving the original color of the platform. And down here, we're going to bring back the safe color. Okay, I think that is all that is needed. Let's play test and take a look. So I'm going to wait and go. This one here, we're going to wait and go. Hop on it. It didn't change color. Oh no, this is not the one. It's this one right here in the middle. So let's go here, go here, hop on it, change color. I got to get off because it's going to disappear. And then it's going to reappear with the original color. Hop back on it, change its color, and it's going to disappear. And it's going to reappear. All right, it worked. Yay. Now to make this game more interesting, I'm going to add one more thing. So I'm going to go back to the service script service. We're going to add another script. How about we rename the script to random. And in your script, just insert the following lines. On the first line here, we're declaring the module script. Here we have a function, get random base part. It's going to return a random base part inside the workspace. We're going to come back to that. Down here, we have an infinite while loop. So each time, it's just going to call that function to get a random base part. In this function, we're declaring an empty array, and then we're getting all the base parts inside the workspace using get descendants. So we're using get descendants to get all the objects inside the workspace. And if the object is a base part, we're going to insert it into this table here, the base parts table. By the end of this for loop, we're going to have an array containing all the base parts inside the workspace. If we have found more than one object, then we're just going to return a random object from that array. So basically, we're just selecting a random base part to return. It's going to return back to here and assign into this variable. So our random part here is going to be a random base part inside the workspace. So as you can see here, this here is our workspace and all these, everything here is inside the workspace. This here is going to select a random part inside the workspace. It's going to return back to here. It's going to make that part disappear for three seconds and then reappear. Since this is an infinite while loop, it's going to go back up to here and select another random base part to make it disappear and reappear. All right, let's play test and take a look. Like over there, I can see things. Oh, right here, you see this one disappeared. All right, so basically there are a lot of different base parts in this workspace and it makes them disappear and appearing randomly. And now we can go, that one is going to go away. See, it disappeared. Whoa, look at that. That one disappeared. I hope one of those kill bricks disappear. It would make it easier to get past. Oh, I always mess that up. I think I should just run into it. Yeah, that's it. And I made it to the end. All right, guys, that is how you make things appearing and disappearing inside your games. Hope you enjoy the video and find it to be helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.